Max Verstappen survived a late rain shower to take his fourth win of the season, extending his championship lead to nearly 40 points. On a weekend where the grid was very closely matched, let's have a look at how I rated the drivers. We'll start with the race winner Max Verstappen gets a 5. He pulled out a great lap in qualifying and he made the right call at the right time for intermediates. Is that the title so enough already? Third place man Esteban Ocon gets a 4.5. He was outstanding all weekend, a shock pole position contender and he kept his calm during the race even when threatened by Ferrari's Carlos Sainz. It was a very, very mature drive. Fernando Alonso is next. He gets a 4.5 as well. He could have won without the rain. He could have won with it as well had they timed their switch to Inters correctly. A missed opportunity but still an excellent performance. Lewis Hamilton's next, he gets a 3. He managed his race well, the timing of the switch to Inters worked out for him. And George Russell, his teammate, gets a 3 as well. He avoided disaster with the Perez collision but his pace in the wet nullified the 5 second time penalty. Pierre Gasly also gets a 3, it was a no frills weekend from the Frenchman and he deserved his solid points score. Also getting a three is Lando Norris. The pace in the wet was great for McLaren. It was a brave overtake on Sonoda and that was very enjoyable to watch. Norris's teammate Oscar Piastri also gets a three. He missed out on Q3 by a tiny margin and he navigated the wet surface well to give McLaren a double points finish. Valtteri Bottas in the Alfa Romeo comes next. He gets a 2.5. He made the early switch to Inters which salvaged an otherwise lacklustre race even though he got no points for it. Yuki Tsunoda is the highest rated Alpha Tauri. His dry pace was undone by brake problems and his wet pace, which may have been connected. His teammate Nick De Vries also gets a 2.5. It was a tidy weekend from the Dutchman, hopefully a platform for him to build on. The Ferraris come next. Charles Leclerc gets a 2. A 3 place grid drop in qualifying took him away from challenging Alonso for P2 and potentially even victory. And Carlos Sainz also gets a 2. It was needless contact with Ocon and strategy left the door open for Mercedes to waltz through. Zhou Guan Yu gets a 2 as well, it was a poor weekend from the Chinese driver, hardly noticed him. And Lance Stroll gets a 2 as well, it was a pretty messy race which ended early. Kevin Magnussen gets a 2 and the Haas team, he gambled it on staying out on dries and that failed. Put a nice move on Logan Sargent early on though. Nico Hülkenberg gets a 2 as well, and bold is how I'd describe his lap 1 overtake on the Williams. This wasn't a circuit for Haas to shine though. Alex Albon gets a two. He was hampered by the Williams killing the tyres, but that was a problem for both cars really. Logan Sargent also gets a two. He had a learning afternoon with the soft tyres graining and he was just running around at the back. So lots to learn for Logan Sargent in Monaco. And the bottom scorer is Sergio Perez. In the fastest car, he managed to score no points and crash in qualifying. So the Mexican gets a 1.5. And the crash of quality just left him heavily on the back foot. His race was a mess and this is a weekend he will want to move on quickly from. They're my ratings for the drivers in Monaco, which leaves the average top 10 looking like this, where Fernando Alonso has moved up to second position and Esteban Ocon's podium takes him into the top 10. The bottom half then and Alex Albon drops to 11th and both Ferrari drivers have fallen down the table too. Let me know what you think of my ratings. Tell me which driver impressed you most in Monaco. As always, leave a like, share the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more Grand Prix content, and thank you very much for watching.